Well, the weekend is here. Let's go to Bonnie Schneider and get an update on the weather forecast for the weekend. Bonnie? Hi, Catherine. We're going to start off in the tropics because even though hurricane season is not officially here, it sure did get going this week. A tropical depression looming in the Atlantic, but the good news with tropical depression number one since the first of the season, it's really dissipating. You can hardly even see it on our satellite perspective. This storm is now going over so much cooler water. Originally, it formed on Thursday right along the Gulf Stream. That's a warm current that comes all the way up from the Gulf of Mexico, rides parallel to the eastern seaboard, and actually taps into some very warm water, the water temperature there at least 80 degrees, and that really can ignite tropical systems. But Tropical Depression 1 is now what we call a fish storm. That's all it's affecting the fish. All right. Well, you can see the storm moves away by Saturday, 30 mile per hour winds. Right now, the winds are also dying down, so this is barely a depression just hanging on. Let's take a look at the eastern seaboard because things are getting active and they're only going to get worse as we go th towards tomorrow. We're watching out for strong thunderstorms in Virginia, North Carolina for today and for tomorrow, and you can see some stormy conditions across parts of upstate New York into New England and particularly down in Florida. A lot of rain in Florida. First, it was so dry, desperate for rain, and now it doesn't stop raining across much of South Florida. So we've got some really powerful and potent storms in the Miami-Dade area in Kendall, and then northward you head up towards Fort Lauderdale, south of West Palm Beach and Boca Raton. It's uh, pretty stormy out there. Be careful out there. We're also getting some strong thunderstorms to the north in Melbourne and Orlando. Let's check out airport delays and see how Florida's faring. The rest of the country also looking a little bit overcast for places in like Newark, New Jersey, Wow, those are some long delays, over two hours. JFK, not as bad, 30 minutes. Florida, not listed here, but we did have delays earlier, just to let you know, in Fort Lauderdale. Washington, D.C., also reporting some lengthy delays, ground stops, and delays continue at LaGuardia Airport. Teterboro, Boston, Massachusetts, not too bad. And Baltimore, Maryland, looking at delays. Philadelphia, an hour and 45 minutes. Tough go of it in the Mid-Atlantic and also in the Northeast. But you know what? As we go to tomorrow and as we work our way through the rest of the weekend, here's our trouble spot, the Great Lakes. We're watching out for severe storms over parts of Wisconsin, well into Illinois. These storms could contain some very strong lightning strikes and also large size hail. So our map for tomorrow does call for the severe weather breaking out across the Great Lakes. And then you'll find that we have wet weather also looming across areas into northern New England, like in Maine, we could see some showers. High temperatures for Sunday look pretty hot in Texas, 92 degrees in Dallas, 90 in Houston, 89 in Tampa and Florida, 86 in Atlanta. I'm looking for a cool spot to recommend if you want something cooler, maybe San Francisco at 61 or Toronto at 62. But really, you know, it's funny, Catherine, June 1st is not only the start of hurricane season, it's actually Actually, what we call the meteorological start of the summer season. Meteorology, we kind of look at each three months as a season, June, July, August, summer. So it's already feeling like summer, whether it's June 1st or not, uh, we're definitely going to be feeling the heat. And this has to do with our Your Voice question as well, right, about the hurricanes? Yeah, absolutely, because since we're getting started with hurricane season on Monday, we're asking, what are you doing to prepare for hurricane season? How does it affect your summer travel plans? And a lot of people prefer to take trips during hurricane season. Yes, it is a gamble to take a cruise, but you know what? You get a great deal. You just have to avoid the storms. Let's hear from some of our responses. Alex uh, says, I'm preparing for hurricanes, but I'm also not going to to let hurricanes control my life. Good for you, but just make sure you are prepared in case one uh, does hit you. Jesse says, I'm going to New York for the first time, and I'm worried about flights getting caught up in one of the uh, one of the offset storms. This isn't until August, but I'm planning and trying to find my ways around them. Well, Jesse, I can tell you if you're watching, the best thing to do when booking a flight, whether it's to New York, to Minneapolis, to Miami, uh, anytime during the summer, the best thing is get that first flight early in the morning because this time of year, especially in August, we get those afternoon thunderstorms and one delay gets on top of the other. You saw the delay board. So hopefully you'll be safe and everybody will avoid a big hurricane this year. But Catherine, you know, we're looking at an active season ahead, according to NOAA and Colorado State researchers forecasting between four and seven hurricanes this year. Let's hope it's four. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's hope it's like two or zero, right? Yeah. All right. Bonnie, thank you so much. Sure.